Hey everyone, oil price volatility is here to stay. US oil rig count drops despite rising crude prices. OPEC oil production is 1 million barrels per day lower than target level. Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Mike. Thank you very much for joining me here. If you're new to this channel, I cover everything, not just IPOs. So if you want, you can subscribe to this channel. Now, what am I talking about here? We're looking at oil. Why? Because the price swings of oil was within a week 40 45 bucks which is crazy it doesn't make any sense at all you don't swing that price of oil per barrel uh wti crude oil, let's say uh within one week 40 bucks it's just crazy people you know, don't think i like me personally speaking i don't think that oil is going lower and lower and lower we're not headed towards that direction we're headed back where that 40 where, where we were at the, at the at those highs we're headed back to 140 150 dollars uh, per barrel it's going to happen and just as it swung in one week it can do it at any point that fast again right and so what i want to do is be, uh, look at one more oil stock one more that i'm very interested in and i am most likely i am right now as i'm doing the video it is saturday I am 90%. I feel that it is a 99.9% .9 guarantee profits within the next three months, let's say. This year, right? I, I really feel it will, it won't take long to go back up again. And I just feel that that's guaranteed profits. Why let it go? Why just let them sit there in the air? Why not, uh, you know, take advantage of it? So WTI crude oil right now, as I'm doing the video, even though it's Saturday, we can see the live prices. Right now, WTI crude oil is at 104.7. It's gone up. Uh, Brent crude oil is at 107.90 cents. Natural gas is at 4.8. Heating oil and so on. All right, so WTI and Brent crude is what I'm more interested in, and I see that it has gone up, and it it will. I mean, like I said, it took it took literally one week for the price to go 45 bucks down. It'll take another week for it to go back 45 bucks. And I'm not saying that this week will be it, but I'm just trying to say that it'll be that fast. So CPG stock is uh, the CPG is the ticket symbol. This is the stock that I'm interested in. It is Crescent Point Energy Corp, which is a very great company. It is not $8.43, all right? It's not 843 I was contemplating whether I should go with Occugen or this. Um, OCGN is the ticket symbol for Occugen, which I think is a great, probably, probably more than speculative play because since Covaxin was... Um, accepted by the World Health Organization. I think it's just a matter of time before it's the FDA finally accepts it, and then we'll have oxygen exploding, right? And I don't know. I don't know if 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 the explosion is going to start this week. A lot of people are. I myself too feel that on Monday, oxygen pre-market hours 4 a.m. It's already going to spike up, and so I because I missed out on oxygen and I didn't buy it on Friday, which was dumb of me. Um, I'll probably focus on this one for now. All right, so Crescent Point Energy Corp, $6.97. It's going to go up, in my opinion. It's going to hit $12, $13. So why not make another 100% nearly of profits? They're, it's going to happen. I mean, I just I really feel 99.9% .9 that it's going to do it. And so, like I said, I don't want to miss it, right? Uh, so let's just explain why, though. I don't. It's not nice to just say, I feel that it's going to go up. And that's it, right? Let me explain my reasons why. All right, first of all, according to 19 analysts, they have a price target very soon for $8.43. Uh, it's getting close to that already. Uh, so the company explores, develops, and produces light and medium crude oil, natural gas liquids, natural gas reserves in Western Canada and in the United States. It has a market cap of $4.2 billion and is priced less than 7 bucks as we're doing, as I speak right now. The company is trading nearly 30% below its sector, which is another thing that just drives me nuts, and I'm really excited about this stock. And it has a forward P ratio of 7.95, which is amazing. Now, in their latest Q4 earnings uh, reports, the company had a revenue of $710 million, which beat the estimates by $90 million. And not only will the company fully repay its $670 million of debt, uh, but the improving financial performance also makes for improved cash flow and margins. The debt is for an acquisition at, uh, called KBOB, which gives them more. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of natural gas there, and they're going to fully repay the debt which they had to acquire that, which is awesome. And I'm happy to... Let me read you some things that the CEO said in the latest Q Q4 earnings. I'm happy to report that we have increased our planned share repurchases from $100 million to $150 million, which is expected to be executed by mid-year. So at that, along with energy prices going up, 
It's just why why would I want to lose on this profits? This increase reflects the continued improvement in our financial outlook and our commitment to returning capital to our shareholders, says the CEO. So the acquisition of KBOB, which I said they're going to fully repay that $670 million, is a gas region in Canada and positions the company for greater upside potential, increasing the number of quality wells, drilling locations, and royalty rate. Currently, it's like I said, at $6.97. It did go up after hours at $7.04. And the low price that the, that the, the analysts have for the next 12 months is $5.54. The average is at $8.43 and the highest $12.74. Here we can see some, we're gonna go back on historical data. Uh, let's just focus on the revenue real quick. 2013, 2.6 billion, 2014, 4.2 billion. Then it goes to 3.2. 2016 at 1.9 in 2017 2.8 3.1 2.6 2.0 2.4 for 2021 so that's it just a quick video i am betting on the fact that oil prices are, are going to go high they're going to go back up and uh back where they came from unfortunately uh for because it's going to mean more higher prices for the gas at the gas stations but uh it is what it is and there's nothing i can do about that uh, Crescent Point Energy Corp, in my opinion, will rise. I mean, you're looking at the year-to-date chart. It was at 550, let's say. It's already at 697, and uh, I, I just don't see a downside. I see more. I see an upside in this stock. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and if you're going to or did you get into Oxygen? Let me know also in the comment section. Take care, everyone.